What's up guys, it's me again. Um, this is my second video about E3. And I saw Ubisoft and I saw Microsoft and Sony's um, conference yesterday. This is actually the next day, but I forgot to... The, uh, I might as well do the rest of the videos because I am watching everything. And I'm not going to say everything that other people have said already. I'm just going to give my opinions of what, what's going on. There, there might be some games I'm talking about that weren't shown on the uh, official E3 conferences. Maybe I was just... I was seeing a lot of Twitch. I did see some of, the, some of the PC stuff, but I wasn't really interested in the PC stuff. So, honestly, I, I'm not going to talk about that. Though, um, I did see some other interesting things on... Um, but anyway, let's talk about Ubisoft. Um, Ubisoft was okay. I mean, they did okay. Uh, but uh, let me just talk about them. That was rumors that uh, Beyond Good and Evil was supposed to be like worked on. And people were assuming they might have shown something to this time around. But they didn't really show anything. But we got Just Dance 2007. It's coming out in 2017, or it is gonna be released this year. I'm not sure, but I don't give a fuck. Honestly, it's just <laughs> I don't really care about those games. Um, and then they uh, let's see what else did they show that I was semi interested in. Uh, they showed some South Park, The Fracture, um, but oh, Butthole. I believe that's how it is. I did was interested in the first one, the Stick of Truth, but I did play. I haven't played it yet. Um, I'll probably eventually get it on the PS3, um, or I'll, I'll, if I get the PS4, I'll get it on there. Eventually, I don't have a new console, unfortunately, but I am leaning towards the PS4. <clears throat> they showed what else? Watch Dogs 2, which uh, is also getting a film re-released. Um, they're working on a film. Okay, um, I didn't. I didn't play the first one. This one looks. It just looks like they fixed. They it's more interesting gameplay, but it's pretty much the same. Just added more characters to the mix. Uh, but the first one, I personally, I found the first one more interesting than this one. Uh, I haven't played the first one yet, but just in my personal opinion, the first one just looked better. And it and it just it sold me on the idea. But this one just felt like they were trying too hard with the uh, second one. But it does it does look like Grand Theft Auto, but I guess with some hacking. And so yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Um, they showed a game called From Honor, which they show some story elements and some gameplay, but it doesn't really feel like a game that I'm in that interested in. I mean, I would have fun. It just reminds me of of um, Dynasty Warriors meets Samurais and Vikings and Knights. That's what, it, honestly, that's what it reminds me of. So I don't know if you guys got that vibe too, but yeah, that's what it reminds me of. So what else did they show? Um... They showed, uh, what else? I think, um, I think I'm close to the end on it. Eagle Flight Showcase, uh, P2P, peer, 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 PVP, um, you know, gameplay, which, it looked okay, it just was a fucking regular, low, very low, um, effort on VR, <laughs> to be honest with you, it was really low for effort on it, but hey, if it's cheap, I guess, it's a decent game, if you if you already spent $500 on a VR set, or, or whatever, whichever you, I don't know, the, the, the prices vary on different sets, different headsets, um, they also showed, what else did they show, I'm trying to remember, they show anything else? They didn't show that. Uh, oh, they they showed they they also announced that there was a. Well, I already knew this. There was a Assassin's Creed film that's gonna come out instead of a game this year. They had to come up with something. I was that was I was like what? 
you know, I'm not a huge fan of the Assassin's Creed games, but I do enjoy. Uh, I did enjoy the first one, kind of. It was kind of repetitive, but hey, uh, I I do own the first. I think I earned the first one and the second one. I'm not sure if I own, own the third one, but I, I, I'm pretty sure I own the first and the second one. And I still haven't even played, beat them, but hey. Uh, and then they showed a game called Steep, which looks like an open world winter sports, extreme sports game. Okay. I mean, if it's cheap, I guess. It's not like something I would play, really, to be honest with you, but hey, it's there. Um, so yeah, Ubisoft was kind of boring, but it wasn't. It wasn't extremely boring, you know. Like yeah, there was some okay stuff to being shown. Um, so let's move on to Microsoft and what I saw there. Um, so Microsoft is going to be hard for me to talk about because I don't even have a list in front of me. Do I have a list in front? Of me? Okay, now. You know, this this might come out in order. I know they showed Gear War, Gears of War four, which is uh, obviously they were going to show that. They showed more gameplay. It did look good, honest with you. Uh, then they talked about the new um, uh, Microsoft's, you know, um, slim version. It this it does look good. It does look way better than the uh, original Xbox One. Um, and then it uh, then they started talking more about integration about all their like they're gonna do a lot of Microsoft 10 and uh, devices they talked about Minecraft for a little bit which I didn't I really didn't care about that and then they talked about uh, they showed Cuphead which I you know I saw we saw a little bit more of Cuphead but not too much but I, that's the game I'm you know, kind of interested in. They showed another game called Inside by Limbo, uh, the creators of Limbo. I don't, I forget the name of the, the company, but um, you know, I I did play Limbo a little bit. I played a demo of it, and I did enjoy Limbo. I think a friend of mine's also owned it, and I pretty much enjoyed that. Uh, they showed also uh, Dead Rising 4, which is what whatever. You know, honest with you, I'm not. I've never played any of Dead Rising games, so. Can't really say too much about them, but hey, it's it's there, I guess it's there. Um, what else? They uh, freak. Um, um, they're also getting the Elder Scrolls um, Skyrim Special Edition. Uh, they will be getting. They showed some more gameplay of Final Fantasy 15 on there, which is nice that they showed that. Uh, for, uh, Forza Horizon 3, I believe they showed, um, you know, Whippy. I'm not a huge fan of that either because I don't have, I don't own an Xbox. I own, yeah, I didn't even really own an Xbox 360, so I can't really, you know, I can't really give my, um, you know, saying on it. They, they did, uh, show this uh another strategy card game called Gwen the Witcher's card game. I don't think they showed it at the Xbox thing, but they know they were they were talking about it and I was like more card strategy game? Okay. Another one. Um what else did they show? Uh let's see um they showed Killer Instinct which is cool. They did show that. Some they talked well they didn't show it but they just talked about it, um, and I think honestly I don't think that's I think that's about it that's all they talked about really. Um, Scalebound oh yeah Scalebound, Scalebound was a, it looked okay it didn't really intrigue me that much but it looked okay. Uh, Seas of Thieves by Rare. It, it has cartoony graphics or cel shaded graphics, but um, it does look interesting. To be honest, it does. It does actually look interesting. Uh, hmm. I think they they showed the the Gears of War 4 controller. 
and um, they showed another game called <clears throat> Few of Few of Happiness. 